Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to test the torque from this brushless motor. Why I'm doing this? Because I use this motor for my reducer and this reducer was showing not exactly the torque which I was expecting. So I would like to test if this motor is giving the torque which I'm expecting from it. To test this motor I 3D printed some parts. So let's assemble this. So, first of all, I need to mount the motor on this motor holder. So, the next, this lever goes on top of the motor. Cool. Here I will have this part with the cooling fan. So, I need to fix the cooling fan to the to this part. And now I need to install the encoder over here. And now everything is installed. So now we can install it over here. And this should work like this. And I think everything is ready for the test. This is a close view of the system. So here is the motor encoder and ventilator. So this lever gonna push on this scale and like this we can find out the maximum torque. I charge the batteries, everything is connected. This is assembled. Here I have a scale, everything is stable and when this lever push the scale we will see the torque. So let's do some tests. First of all I need to switch on the ventilators. So now I can switch on the O drive. I will put this lever like this for calibration. First battery, second battery, now O-Drive tool, check the voltage, 24.8 volts, full calibration sequence, ah fuck, ok, let's dismount this one, so now it rotates freely. Cool. Let's reconnect it. O drive tool. Full calibration sequence. Motor rotates in one direction and in another direction. The calibration is done. Now I can do the closed loop control. Now I can mount the lever. Ok, position set point, I don't know which value to put, but let's say 100. 100 sounds nice. 800, 1500, 1700, 1900, almost. Ok, 2000. Ok, 200 gram. 2100, still 200 gram, so back to 1900, ok, current limit 20 amp, set point 1900, set point 2000, set point 2100, 400 grams, ok, 
go back to the 1800. I should say that PID values are not really well uh, adjusted. But okay, uh, so next current limit is 40 hundred. Uh, current limit 40 amps. So uh, 1900 set position. Set position uh, 2000. Set position uh, 2100. Okay, 800 grams. Go back to the 1800. Current limit 50 amp. 1500. Okay, set position 2000. Set position 2100. 982 grams. Okay, set position 1500. And current limit 10 amps. The cables are hot. And the motor is a little bit hot. It's good that I put a ventilator. So now I will change the relative position of this lever with respect to the motor. Just to have some statistics. Okay, let's put some other random volume. So 200 grams. 400 grams. 800 uh, grams, cool. Go. The maximum torque is almost one kilogram. Okay, let's change again the relative position of the level with respect to the motor. Uh, the, max the torque is 200 grams. So the maximum torque around uh, 400 grams, okay. The torque is 800 grams. And the torque is around one kilo. Uh, in this lever, I have a small hole over here. Like this, I can put a rope through this hole. And I can attach some weight. So, let's do this. This is my rope. Set position 2900. Ooh. And now I need to find some weight. Okay. So this is set point 2900. So let's go to the set point uh, 3300. Up to now it works, 2900. It looks like it works. Put a little bit more nuts. 29, 31, 27, 29, 27. So this is kind of limit. Perfect. So let's check how much is this. 180 grams. Okay, let's put uh, current limit 20 amps. Okay, let's go to the current limit 40 amps. Uh, 770 grams. So now we will test 50 amps, the maximum current for this motor. 970 grams, so it's close to the 1 kilo. Cool. I also have another motor which I would like to test. The smaller one. This motor kind of have a different uh, aspect ratio. So for this motor I also 3D printed the bracket and I 3D printed this lever. So let's install all of this. And I will reuse some parts from, the, from this one. So the motor goes like this. In this motor, I modified the axis. I put a longer one. Let's see if I can reuse uh, this encoder. Perfect. 
perfect. And now let's test this motor. So switched on the ventilators. Power for the O drive. Okay, O drive tool. Voltage uh, 24.8 volts. So this is good. It seems like it works. So I did the full calibration sequence. Now I need to do the closed loop control. So currently limit 10 amp. 2300 2400 100, 175 grams Okay, current 20 amps Set point 23, 2300 Go Twenty four hundred. Three hundred twenty seven gram. So we did all the measurements. Let's now talk a little bit about results. So the motor which we used is air drive forty two fifty three hundred fifty kV. And uh, we tested uh, the torque of this motor using the scale and using the weight. Uh, yeah. And uh, I put the scale and nuts. Nuts it's which uh, the torque which we measured with the weight. And we used uh, four different value of current. 10 amps, 20 amps, 40 amps and maximum 50 amps. So this is the measurements from the scale, this is measurements from the nuts and I should say that they both uh, quite close together. So the measurements from the scale to around 200 grams. Uh, from the weight it's around 180 grams, here 400 grams, 400 grams, 80 grams, 770, 1 kilo, 970. So with the uh, lever of uh, 12 centimeters which we used, this corresponds to the torque of uh, 0 0.24, 48, 96, 1.2. So first of all what uh, you can see clearly is that this torque is proportional to the, to the current. This is a good and uh, also here I put a torque, kind of theoretical torque. It's a torque calculated with the current and kV. And this torque is quite close to the, our measurements values. And uh, like this I can introduce kind of efficiency of our motor and uh, efficiency of our motor with respect to the torque. And uh, this efficiency for all uh, four measurements is around 88%. So we can say that if we want to calculate a real experimental torque for this motor, we can use this kind of formula. So the torque is equal 60 divided by 2p, current divided by kV, and here this coefficient of 88%. Or in, uh, with the numerical values, it's uh, here. So torque in newton meter equal 8.4 times current divided by kV in RPM per volts. And uh, I should say that this torque, so the maximum torque of 1.2 newton meters, which we measured with the 50 amps, this is exactly what uh, specified in this motor on the O-Drive Robotics uh, website. It means that in the reducer from previous video, I have a low torque because of the reducer itself. And apparently it's not because of the motor. So I will check what is the problem with the reducer. The second motor which we tested is Multistar 4010-375kV. And we tested it for two currents, for the current 10 amps and for the current 20 amps. We used only scale this time. And this is the measurements which we get and uh, the torque uh, which we get. So the maximum torque we get around 0 0.4 Newton meter. Uh, theoretical torque is this one. And again, we can calculate kind of efficiency on the torque. And it's 80% uh, in the case of 10 amps and 75% in the case of 20 amps. So we see that this uh, motor is less uh, efficient in these terms with respect to the previous one, to the IRA drive. 
I will use uh, this data for my uh, next uh, generation of the reducer and uh, like this uh, now I know exactly the torque from the motor and uh, I'm sure that uh, this motor can produce this torque. This is good. Now I don't have doubts in the motor. If you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe to my channel and also I would like to say a huge thank you to my Patreons. Thanks to them I built these projects and thanks to them I will continue with this. If you would like to support my channel, please consider to become uh, my Patreon or please support me via PayPal. All the links in the descriptions. And this is the list of my Patreons. Thank you guys. See you next time.